What's up guys? Welcome to another time out with me on Alec GTV. My name is Alec Godwin if you're just meeting me. And today we are reviewing the Fuel World Monitor 70 inch Ultra Bright. That's what we're doing today plus a giveaway coming up. Happy Father's Day. This is mine. Do you know what? I never checked. The brightness is on 50%. I never adjusted this brightness. Never. I never look 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 at this. It's all 50% brightness, 50% contrast. Just the settings as it came and never did adjust it and you know to know that it, it could be brighter it's amazing it's not going to be a typical review there are some of those on the internet a lot of those i guess but i'm just going to give take on the highlights the key points so that you know for sure if this is for you i'm trying to sell this not because it's a sponsored program i don't know fee world i never heard from them i just love the product and i love the price now one of the first things to consider is how much does it go for and what can it do this thing can show you images like awesomely clear like bright you know um it's like how it really is maybe a little bit of an exaggeration <laughs> you know but the idea is that it gives you clarity i had my um ninja 5 atomos ninja 5 which is a very good uh, monitor got good dynamic range better than this one but doesn't it's not as bright as this one now i took it on the ride testing out uh, a car mount and um, what i figured out was i couldn't see myself you know, so already I was missing, I started missing this guy because that is one thing I never did, where I put on the sun hood outdoors. This guy will make you never think about sun hoods or sun shoes. It is, and to find out that it's actually 50%, it's been 50% all along, it is awesome. Now, I used to think it was heavy, the Fantasy Magic M was the one that could hold it steady for a long time without falling. Um, but the one for Small Rig, I don't know if there are two, but I got one from Small Rig and it, it couldn't hold it. It was always falling down. Okay, but the one from Fantasy held up pretty well. The only monitor that I would say will beat this guy hands down for me right now is the Shogun 7. But you have to defeat the weight of that thing you have to you know power it that's a machine so there's a lot of power it requires all right let's try this false colors and uh, with this you are able to get your exposures right it has um the insta histogram um so the first color off it has the instagram which i always leave on by the way because it shows that you know our our lighting our exposure is fairly okay pretty much at the middle okay and then these two buttons over here they are programmable these two buttons over here a program f1 and f2 you could change the features uh whatever you wish uh, you kind of use often and you got mic you got a headphone you got a headphone um yeah headphone port to listen to your audio um you have um, direct power of course and then you have another hdmi out which is very uh, helpful when you're doing your wireless transmission this is not a review like i said i'm just telling you you know even though there are lots more that that you could get from this stuff what i already know what i i'm using i'm using probably like 40 percent of its um, abilities and i'm happy and i'm satisfied and i have been satisfied on a budget you will not be far from you will not be really wrong uh, far from the truth if you use this 
monitor because what is dynamic range really it is brightness so if this thing can show you brightness it means it can show you a fair representation of the dynamic range it may, it may over brighten the um, dark part but overall it is better to get to see what you're shooting than not see it um, but touchscreen can be added they have on their newer model but i have not seen it on the seven inch i've not seen their newer model of seven inch the smaller ones yes they do have touch screens and um, you can load on lots you cannot however load on lots for this one okay so that would be the biggest one which it's still not so much of a bummer for me to i know for youtube i should use lots and just do it fast you know but what brings the moolah in really i uh, i don't need to put, add lots in here i do everything in post and decide make my decisions so i can be more flexible this is like 259 there is the sdi version however um you see this part over here let's take a look at that yeah this part over there those parts are for sdi so the newer model now has the sdi version and uh, you could now stick your sdi to your cinema cameras there is also sdi for this which you should check out my review on this um, part one is out part two will soon be out in a couple of days now you barely see notice this scratch on the screen here because it's so bright it's a tiny scratch on the screen but i think it just occurred to me that i may never have uh, taken out this the uh, screen uh, cover that came with it i don't know for some reasons i didn't take it off and it became over time you know burnt with sound and everything when during the shoot it became burnt into the skin so somehow um, when i scratched on it it came out and it's a little bit firm i know it can be taken off but i want to leave that out you know it wasn't in my way i'll leave that up to the new owner to decide um, what you want to do i will send this however with uh, this thing that it came with it came with this and i checked unboxing because i never made my own oh i did one clip where i showed how how uh, i got a lot I, I ordered three instead of one okay so and i eventually i returned it but that's the only thing i showed maybe i still have the clip that should be an unboxing however i did check and i found out that this guy came with it so i looked for it and i found it i'm going to send it to you however this is not it's not a very fantastic stuff you it's usable but the experience is not fantastic um you might want to get another one but however i was sent i said originally that the winner would choose out of the two devices that uh, i have for the giveaway and um I have two winners and they already chose uh, in the description. Nobody, no other comments there that is going to challenge them. So I might as well. And they have been on my channel for a while. Um, yeah, they have been on my channel for a while. I mean, as long as I can remember. It makes me really happy because I finally get to appreciate them. And you out there that has been on, your turn is coming. 3,000 subscribers is not going to be far away. I'm already working on giveaways for 3,000 subscribers. Uh, you only have to wait, but it's going to be great. <laughs> the Feel World is going to home pictures, studios, video, photography, VRO. <laughs> That's the name you have there. You are getting this stuff and uh, my instagram um, contact will be on the screen if possible i'll put my twitter as well you don't have to send me your direct address you could have you could send me uh, the nearest uh, postal address or mail delivery center that's closest to you um, yeah it's up to you but you have the option of sending it to wherever you want now for the other giveaways which is the it's the Canon T2i. Um, 
It's just a basic camera. It's okay. The great thing about it is the Canon colors. Uh, it comes with this lens. I'm sending you with this lens. I'm giving you, it's already formatted. I'm giving you a battery. I'm giving you the charger. I'm giving you the charger, the charging unit, and the battery is in there. And SD card is here as well on this side, you know, which I love the fact that they separated it on the different units. I don't know why they don't do that like that anymore. So this with this camera, the winner is um, Chooks Fred Luxin. This is coming to you. Congratulations to you guys, to both of you. Uh, thank you for supporting, for being there, for, for commenting on my channel. It's encouraging to know that someone is out there, you know, watching and even though sometimes you see the count loss of views, just one feedback will, it's, you know, just feels like, ah, okay. And actually good or bad, you know, good or bad, because um, the bad one knows what you're doing, lets you know what you're doing wrong, and the good one lets you know what you're doing right. So you kind of need both, but no, no feedback, it's no good. <laughs> Trust me, it is no good. So I kind of appreciate um, you guys and um, hope you be able to you know, enjoy this stuff and this will take you to your next level uh, for better cameras and gears and equipment and um, um, content creation and stuff like that. And I will stay connected to you guys. I would love to see what you do with it, how you grow from this to more heights and all that. That being said, I think it's a wrap. I never thought this video would go too long, but it has gone already. So, on a last note, if you did subscribe to this channel, then I guess I'll see you in the next video. Bye.